Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be discussing with you how to get out of a slump. Yeah, a slump. Exhibit A could easily be my hair. It's just not fucking working with me today. Like, it's like the remnants of the slump. Look, so you've got one over here and one on here. Try to pin it up. It's not working for me. So you're going to have to bear with on the, on the fucking hair front. Jesus Christ. But the last few weeks I've essentially been feeling absolute shite. Like, I haven't been feeling shit, but just really shite. You know, like, there is a, I promise there is a difference. If you're not, like, a, a British English speaker, um, I don't know how much of a distinction you'll gather. It's not exactly, like, a rut, but it's certainly, like, the last few weeks it's just been, like, a slump. Like, slump is the perfect word for it in every kind of way. The physical aspect, the mental aspect, the emotional, it's like... Just... So, I decided to give you a little sort of thing of how I realise I've kind of got out of it now. I feel like I have a couple more days left to be back to my normal self, but basically the last few weeks, crap. Because what I did was I worked really really hard over the holidays for all of my exams and my essays and stuff, then I really only had like three days until I went back to lectures, so all I did in those three days was stay in my bed and watch Peaky Blinders, that's all I did. I think as a result, I don't know, I think I was so mentally exhausted from the holidays of all things that I just never like had that moment to recharge and then I recharge, I didn't even recharge, I like, just like sort of went downhill and then I like, kind of stayed there so I haven't sort of been my normal self and like on Friday I was just telling Ellie this, I was like I'm like losing my mind she seemed concerned so I was like okay may maybe there is actually something a bit wrong with me at the moment you recently may have watched Estée Lalonde's video on how to get out of a rut um it's not this video I don't think is quite like that because I think a rut is more of like a long a longer term thing but this is like if you're having like a short kind of more intense version of that so this is my like things to get your life back on track I guess because I've just been feeling like I've been like I've been floating without any kind of direction, like nothing that usually like I have physical to hold on to has like been there, it's just a very weird feeling of being like, well, ah. so this is how I've like kind of trying to sort my life out again and get my shit together. Let's go. My real question is like, guys, am I going to go to my lecture with my hair like this? Uh, also, is there a reply to my comment? It makes me so happy when you should miss do this. I'm like, I will link Essay's video for you down below, by the way. I'm a very, very strong believer that your space that you live in is a big reflection of your mental state. So if my room is tidy, I am calm, I am collected, I am organized. If it's a fucking mess, there is something fundamentally wrong with me. If I don't feel the need to tidy it up and organize it, there is something really, really wrong with me. That's just kind of how I know, how I just know what is like going on with my mind. So I think if you've kind of decided like, you've had enough of feeling like this, the first thing you can do is just tidy your space. If you organize and tidy your space, it will make you feel so much better. It's no longer something you know you need to do. If you just do it, it's a lot easier to keep up and you just you just feel better. It's just, it's soothing. For me, it's soothing. Kind of on this, it's like clean, cleaning everything. Like not just, not just tidying, like cleaning. Like just cleaning everything, I'm like, okay, it's not gonna make me sound maybe a little bit like I'm obsessive or middle-aged, but like just cleaning everything. Also, I live alone, so this does apply to me. Cleaning everything just makes me go like, it's fine, it's sanitary, it's clean, there is no bacteria or dust. I have a weird thing about dust. I actually really hate dust. Dusty places make me feel incredibly uncomfortable. I think we're a bit allergic to dust. This is a weird tangent I've gone on. But just tidy and cleaning everything, you'll feel a lot, lot better. Making to-do lists also will make you feel a bajillion, bajillion times better. Because then you can sort of see everything you need to do and you can process it a lot better. But I've spoken about this before with to-do lists. Honestly, just like break it down, make it really easy for yourself. Because I've just, what I've done today is the hour before I film this, I just sort of did a lot on this list as you can see. Just just like it's then it's I stopped seeing it, it stops being there. It stops being this nagging thing of like, I've gotta fucking do that, I've gotta fucking do that. If you just do it, then it's like ah 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 and then you have like brain space for the more pressing issues, for like the more bigger important ones that are harder to tackle. Once you do all the little ones, then you can like move up in like difficulty and like importance. This. With the way I have a, like a slump, I spend a lot of time in my bed. So the first thing I can recommend is just fucking get out of your bed. Like just get, if you are watching this on your laptop in your bed, get out of your bed! 
Go sit on the sofa or at your desk or something like that at the kitchen table Just do not be in your bed because I think that physical like if I have my back like that I'm just so much more inclined to fall asleep and I think if I oversleep which is that which is a huge characteristic of like a slump it also kind of leads into worse mental health I find if you just sort of get out of your bed it's a, it's certainly a start and then also making your bed as you can see if you make your bed you're less inclined to get back into it which then obviously perpetuates your cycle of slump and you're feeling absolute shite about yourself it's also just like a good like life thing just make your bed every morning it takes you 20 seconds and you'll feel a lot more like an adult I think this is what the bottom line is. I also have this rule, which kind of went out the window during my like post-exam binge. I have a rule of not having my laptop in my bedroom. I think this is actually a very good one, what I think we should all do, especially like chances you may be watching this on a laptop in bed. Have it ha just honestly do yourself a huge favor and don't have your laptop in your bedroom. Obviously like my desk area is somewhere else, not in this room, so obviously maybe it doesn't work for all of you. But if you have that kind of desk space, put your laptop there. Don't put it by your bed. Don't even put your cable by your bed. Having that distinction is so good for you, I find. Or just rather having the laptop there is really bad for you. Because then all I do is I stay, I wake up, I stay in bed, I grab my laptop, put it on my bed, and then I'm on my laptop in my bed for a few hours when I should be at a desk. Just that movement, that like even just changing your posture, that was just like getting up and walking around, it will help you when you're just like hibernating in your bed. <laughs> what if I'm like the only person who does this? It wouldn't be me. I think everyone knows what a slump is. We all have these once in a while, but it's like, I'm not going to leave my bed for a week. Don't do that to yourself. That's bad. That's bad. It's also just basic self-care stuff. I feel like it goes out the fucking window. My skincare routine absolutely went out the window. I just kept my makeup remover in here and took my makeup off here. Don't do that. It's, it's so bad for you. Just, uh, ah, at least I took my makeup off. I mean, <laughs> brownie points for that. Basic look after yourself things like drinking a tall glass of water or just, you know, taking off that old nail varnish, even though you've been staring at it for a week, telling yourself you should do it. Just take, just take it off. It takes five minutes. And you know it takes five minutes. A face mask does fix everything. I think it fixes your mental health more than your fucking face, you know? Invest some time in actually looking after yourself and like letting yourself know that you want to look after yourself. I figured out what was wrong with my camera. I set the white balance to something else. Now I look kinda green, oh well. Honestly, just spend some time on you because I feel like that's something you kind of forget and it's really, it's just, just think about yourself for a moment. If you're feeling really like, ugh, and unmotivated, and have a good fucking cry. Like, just cry out all and any emotions that are in there for whatever reason. Just have a good cry. I know people say crying doesn't solve anything, but I'm actually really, really against that. I think crying solves a lot, purely because you have that emotional release. You have that hormonal, it's a, it's a physical thing. Bursting into tears is a physical thing. Like, it changes your brain. Chemistry? I don't, I, I mean I did biology, but it doesn't mean I know what I'm talking about. You feel so much better. If you just cry out and then get on with it, you honestly all feel a lot better than leaving it bottled in, because I feel like that sort of tension inside of you is just, it's a, oh, I don't know, it makes everything feel worse. If you just like, cry, you'll be fine. I mean, take it from me, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to fucking crying, okay? <laughs> this is stupid how much better it's made me feel about my life, but I've meal prepped. In the freezer, I currently have like, not including my fish fingers, <laughs> like nine portions of chili, sin carne, and bolognese. Like, that I'm impressed with myself. Like looking after yourself in the future, so you just you just like know that you you know you're looking out for you. It's like yeah. Also, as I've mentioned, like sleep, I think really affects sleep and like mooching time really sort of is basically the main symptom, if you like, or cause, and just the main thing about being in a slump. That's why it's a slump. It's like a physical. I've just been sleeping way too much. It's really, really bad for me. So what I did today was I got up at 8am which I was very proud of myself for. It's a, just to reorganize your sleep schedule. Wake up earlier, go to bed earlier. It makes you feel a lot, lot better. Cause you also see more daylight hours, I think that's really good. So then it's like, oh look, sunlight, vitamin D, yay. It'll make you feel like so much better and just more productive just because you got up earlier. Even if you do just as much if you got up later, you feel like you've made the most of the day. I don't know why, but you do. I mean, eight o'clock isn't exactly early, but. <laughs> 
it is when you're a student. Another thing is just a bit of retail therapy doesn't come amiss. You may have seen on my Instagram, I recently bought a Harry Styles notebook. It was insane there, but now it is. I don't need this. I can live my life without this. I wanted this though. I bought this. This made me feel better about my life and now I'm very happy. So just a little bit of retail. I'm not saying spend yourself into ruin or debt. Just like a little dumbass thing, especially if you wanted it for a while, but like you can't justify because it it's a bit unnecessary. Buy that little bit of necessary thing, it'll make you feel better about everything. Also what like kicked me out of it the other day was like, you guys, I was walking around Urban Outfitters with my younger brother and like I was just answering a few of your like Instagram DMs and they were so incredibly nice that I was just like a bit overwhelmed with like all of the love. I was like, thank you. Um, and I posted my like five year birthday video as well and you guys were honestly, the love I got from you guys was ridiculous so just thank you so much and somebody mentioned me in a blog post which is really cool I'm gonna link it down below I'm still not over it so just, I felt a lot of love and especially like I want to say thank you to Ellie <laughs> specifically because I feel like she could tell there was something wrong with me so you went to the National Portrait Gallery and just like just a little bit of like love from your friends as well is just really will go a very very long way so which is why i encourage you to do mention it to your friends like i'm feeling crap at the moment for no apart well i know why i was feeling crap but like i feel a little bit crap at the moment but you know if one of your friends does mention that to you just show them a little bit more love so I'm like thank you ellie you're an absolute babe so yeah i guess those are my like how to get out of a slump i'm not there yet i'm like 90 percent of the way back to being myself it's just when i realize that like Oh, I don't really care if I'm late for this lecture. Oh, I don't really care if I haven't done this reading. Oh, like, that's not, that's not me. Ellie and I went to the library at one point to, like, read a play. She read the play. I slept. That, that's not normal. That is not normal Emma behaviour. So it's like, ah, what is wrong with me? You just really don't feel yourself and there's no apparent reason for it. So it's like, ah. Uh. So these things, I feel like, at least restore me to myself. Um, and maybe they will help you just sort of be like, okay, let's get my life back together. If you felt like this and you have like sort of your tried and tested ways of making yourself feel better, do let me know down below. I'm sure we'll all appreciate to hear them, me especially. Um, so yes, those are my like, how to make your life not be shit again. Shit, does that, I don't know if that works. Hope you guys feel better. Hope I feel better. Um, so yeah. Like, subscribe. This is such a first world problems video. Uh, nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. I'm such an expressive face. And stomach.